Hi, I'm Carol Clark from CraftsyPrick.com with another episode of Cup TV and this time I've got my 3D Scenic cards to show you. I've already made up a couple of them. They come like this. Lovely little cards as you decorate it front and back and they've all got uh, greetings in that you can add separately as well. And they all come with their own separate little envelope to hide a little surprise inside. So when you open up you get a scene that opens up specially for you, just like that. And the same with this one here. It's my girl's character's holding a flower. As you can see, it makes a lovely little 3D scene, which folds flat for posting, and even better, they're really quick and easy to make too. So we'll get started. Move these to one side. You get six sheets in the kit. Get two sheets to make the envelope, which I won't show you how to make because that's really simple and easy to make anyway. And the instructions are on the sheet. You also get, like with all of my kits, you get full photo instructions too. You get the front back cover. You get the far card front layer. These are all marked on here, so if, once you've cut them out, if you write it on the back, you won't forget what they are because I refer to these in the instructions. You get the card middle layer and greetings. You've also got greetings on this one too. And you've got the card back layer. If you want to add decoup decoupage as well, then you could always print them more than once. But that's the six sheets from the kit. And the very first thing you need to do, by whatever is your favourite method, you'll find that you've got registration marks to score on most of the sheets, I think it is. Yeah, all the four of the, the main sheets you've got that on. And you need to line up with your ruler and to score along those lines. And then you would cut them all out, which to save time I have already done. Move this to one side. So I'm going to start with the middle there, and I've written on the back so I know exactly what it is. On this one, you've got three score lines. We're going to fold it in half along the central score line. And using a bone fold to give a good sharp crease and then on the other two score lines which create the tabs we're going to fold those upwards so you'll then end up with one valley fold and two mountain folds which I'll show you like this you can see exactly like that and then we're going to pop that to one side and take the card back layer and this one you just fold in half so you're going to have one valley fold there like that. And the next thing we're going to do is take the piece that we just moved to one side and I'm going to add um, sticky tape to one side. I'm going to use my sticky tape cutter on the thingy. I'm only going to put it on one side to begin with so it doesn't end up sticking where I don't want it to stick. And making sure you've got the two pieces the right way up and you flat fold it down. Place this to one side of the card back layer. And lining up the edges, stick that in place. And you can see that that is shorter than the one underneath. So now we're going to add the double sided tape to, and adhere it to the other side so we start to get the 3D image. I'm going to open that out and I'm going to add my double sided tape to this side. And this time I'm going to fold it back over and carefully line it up with the other side of the card. So there we have the first two layers completed. We have the next layer in exactly the same way. So I'm going to fold it in half to make a valley fold. Fold the tabs up to make two mountain folds. And again I'm going to add double sided tape to just one of the flaps to begin with. So I'm bringing the card that we'd started to make earlier and place this again lining up with the side of the card there like that give a press to make sure they're all adhered correctly and I'm going to add double sided tape to the other side again again I'm going to bring it over and line up the edge We've then adhered the second side. And there, look, the card's nearly completed. We just need the card cover now. And for this, you, you've got just the um, the valley fold there. 
I'm going to crease down the middle and this is obviously going to fit inside so I'm going to add double sided tape to one side to begin with I think because I don't get in a mess I would add, normally I would add a little bit more than this for quickness today I'm just going to add a few pieces and then I'm going to make sure I've got it the right way round So this is going to go this side here and I'm going to line it up with the card front cover and stick that in place and then this side here isn't it then I'm going to add double sided tape to the other side It's good to make sure you've got some towards the edges so they don't lift up. Quite a bit down the middle too. And then it's just a matter of folding the other side over and getting it in place. And then, as I say, there are greetings on the sheet so you can add a greeting if you want to. You can add it to the front or to the back or wherever you'd like. And make up the matching envelope, which I've already done here. As I say, if you um, if you print it out twice, you could decoupage the little girl and perhaps the watering can as well. It's a really lovely gift. And another thing that was pointed out to me by one of our wonderful card makers, if I just bring in the other two, they're very similar in, in style of making up to my carousel card. So, if before you added the outer cover, if you stuck the, them back to back like this, made four or maybe five of them you could make a card that was even more special because it would then open up to make a carousel card with all these scenes opening up inside the one thing I would suggest to do though is that before you add the cover would be to cut it in half because you've got extra bulk along this um, spine here it wouldn't go all the way round so I would add the, the front and the back separately and put um, ribbon through to tie it at the edge. But that would make a really special card, wouldn't it? Any little girl, or in fact, any mum would love to receive some of these as well. I know I would. And there we have it. 3D Scenic Cards. And uh, there's lots on the website already. And no doubt I'll be designing some more soon in the future too. And you can find them all at www.craftsyouprint.com forward slash carol clark and i hope to see you again next time on cup tv bye